Hi all, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do your reading for Friday, April 27th. This is for all signs. I want you to keep in mind that this is the message I'm picking up today, but it could resonate yesterday, last week, tomorrow, next week, you know? The timing is fluid. This is for the 27th of April. This is what I'm picking up today. We have the Eight of Cups reversed. This is a thinking about it. I'm thinking about going back or I'm thinking about leaving. Right now, it's, a, it's just a thought, okay? You're being called to take all the time you need to make this decision. It's emotional. Somebody is going through an emotional thought process. Do I stay or do I go? Do I go back or not? That kind of thing. There's been some sort of emotional loss, and it's still on your mind. At this point, you know, is it about proving yourself, or is it about happiness? What do you want? Are you looking, you need to let go of your ego. Take ego out of the mix. It's not about pride anymore, right? It's not about pride. For many it is. But it shouldn't be. It should be about your heart. It should be about happiness. What is really going to make you happy? And I feel like today is absolutely a day of figuring out what's going to make me happy. And I have to tell you that before I started this reading, I was sitting here meditating with the cards. You know, they were sitting here like this, okay? They were sitting here like this. I was sitting here and I was just thinking, you know, meditating about today's energy. And I decided to pick up a card and look at it, the top card. And it was justice, integrity, doing the right thing, seeking balance. It's a time, somebody needs to make a decision that it's a heavy decision. It is. Things have been out of balance and now they're being called to really make that decision that's going to make them happy so it's a it's a it's a day of thinking or it's a time of thinking think 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 what is going to make me happy somebody's been resisting holding on to something that doesn't serve them it could even be a thought somebody has been really obsessed With holding on to something that doesn't serve them. There's an obsession here. There's almost like greed. Resisting change. Resisting opening up. Resisting giving. I don't want to give myself. Even though I know it would make me happy. But you know. Somebody, you know, be careful, be careful, because you could get caught in a whirlwind because of integrity if you're not doing the right thing. Eventually, when you resist, it catches up to you. This is the Seven of Swords reversed. The truth could come out eventually. Maybe even when it's too late. Oh, there's that Justice card. Now it's reversed. Someone is unable to do the right thing. They're being dishonest with themselves. They're being dishonest with others. I don't want to be held accountable for any of this. I'm unable to make this decision at this time because I just can't do the right thing for me and you.
Somebody is doing a big injustice to themselves. They're clinging to the past, unable to let go of the past, are having lots of memories of the past. but letting their conflicting thoughts hold them back. It's, it is. It's a terrible injustice. There's an opportunity for happiness here if someone would just open up. Open up. He's opening up the chest. It's time to open up. It's going to catch up to you eventually, holding it all in. You know when you hold something all in, eventually it bursts. And that's probably what this is. And that's the way karma, justice is karma. That's the way karma works as well. Eventually it finds your address. And karma, there's so much karma and you bring on your own karma when you don't do the right thing that your heart is telling you to do. It's about being honest with yourself. And when you don't be honest with yourself, you're doing an injustice to yourself. Somebody knows what they need to do. You do. You know what you need to do. The script has already been written. Trust your intuition at this time. You're seeing the situation clearly. You know what needs to be done. You do. At this point, you need to do what's right to be happy. It's not about proving yourself anymore. Trying to prove your point, right? At this point, it's about happiness, right? It is. There's a decision that needs to be made that somebody has been avoiding making this decision and now it's it's festering it's boiling and now it's time to do the right thing it's time to be assertive it's time to open up and look at things from this new perspective in which you've been denying. Somebody is seeing a situation clearly and denying their own happiness by not doing the right thing for them because they're trying to prove a point. This has to do with someone from your past or memories from the past. You know, the fool reversed. Someone's being naive. Reckless with their own heart. Unable to take a risk and speak their mind, tell how they feel, follow their intuition but all the while clinging to the past and still holding on. They have this fear of being let down if they speak the truth. I, they'll just let me down. They'll reject me. If I, if I speak up for myself, I'll be rejected and I will be let down. Somebody here is going through a midlife crisis. You're being called to be patient. Don't lose your focus. Realize what you really want. This is realize your goals. What do you want? Where do you see yourself in three years? Do you want to still be in this same spot? Have you realized your goals? 
or have you just thought about them quickly and then they flew out of your head? Have you really taken the time out, which somebody has it because this is reversed, have you really taken the time out to focus, really, really focus on where you want to be in three years? Where do I want to be? Who do I want to be with? Someone is not being practical, they're being reckless by not doing the right thing and it's impacting their future. Somebody needs to really take a time out and step back and focus. What are you losing? What are you missing out on? What are you trying to prove? What will make you happy? Why are you doing this? Like I said, be careful. You could get caught in a whirlwind. You could be forced to look at things from a new perspective. Your intuition knows what you need to do. Are you listening? If you haven't been listening, clearly you do need to take a step back. And I don't mean for five minutes. I'm talking a day. To really focus on what you want. What you're trying to prove. And why you need to prove it. Why do you need to prove something to people? Somebody's trying to prove something. They are. What are you trying to prove? Why do you got to prove stuff to other people? There's only one person you need to prove stuff to. It's not other people. What is going to make you happy? That's the path you need to take. That's the path your intuition is telling you to take. The path to happiness. It's time to really focus on what you want in the future. Prepare yourself. By knowing what you want. There's a lack of consciousness here with the hermit reversed. The hermit upright is like a Jesus consciousness. This is reversed. Somebody is refusing to see the light, open up, see the truth, listen to their intuition. They're refusing to wake up. And that's a, that is a terrible injustice. Somebody is lying to themselves. The Seven of Swords is often somebody that is wearing a mask. It's reversed. It's time to take the mask off. Don't pretend that you're happy. It's time to do the right thing for you. Put yourself first and be happy. Take action to be happy. That's what I see. Your intuition knows what we're talking about here. Open your eyes. I'm going to get a couple of oracle cards. I don't know why, because I feel like it. I'm going to get an angel romance card. This I don't know if this is about love or this is about work. However, it applies to you. Somebody, you know, really has to take action into re in regards to what they want and they aren't. Their intuition is telling them to make a move and they're refusing. Deception. Someone is wearing a false self mask in this relationship. It flew out. I just got done mentioning mask. 
someone is wearing a mask and I think it's you and when you point the finger at somebody else that's the biggest problem we have somebody is doing a huge deception a huge injustice to themselves by not following their intuition I'll take one of these too Ancestors. Ancestors. I'm going to read this card because, you know, I ain't no guru on ancestors. That's why. I mean, we know what it means. In our complex Western world, hereditary connections may have been eroded due to profound cultural changes, divorce, and family estrangements. Our wise elders may not be revered as they once were, yet their lives can provide vital clues in understanding our own. This card invites you to be open to your spiritual influence and inspiration regarding present circumstances. The law of karma ensures that we are constantly being gifted with the ingredients needed to further our evolution. Our ancestors, therefore, play a vital and organic role in the intimate dance of our soul's journey. Now may be a time for forgiveness, to face old grievances with compassion. <clears throat> this is perfect. It really is. Or to draw upon the strengths of your forebearers. Through the reception of their love, our spirit ancestors respond to our call and provide reassurance and strength during times of, times of change. Connecting with our spirit ancestors can provide us not only with greater understanding of where we came from, but who we are and where our paths may lead. Being open to the experience of their continuing presence also gifts us with a life-enriching realization that we need never be alone. What I see is that you are being called to follow your intuition. There's a change right in front of you. It's, it's really, this is about karma. Like this, the law of karma ensures that we are constantly being gifted with the ingredients needed to further our evolution. Why are you fighting it? Somebody is fighting their true desires. And they're deceiving themselves. It's time to take a new approach. I guess that's what I have for today. Someone is wearing a mask, not following their heart because they have something to prove. And that's a terrible injustice, that's ego. Someone is letting their the ego Control their happiness. Follow your heart or you will continue to suffer. Your intuition knows what you need to do. Treat yourself with compassion and just do it. Do it. Talk to you later.